So, do you like American men? Yes. Hey guys, we're here at uh, Quadra here in Guadalajara trying a new restaurant today. Now, this place is a grill steakhouse. The menu looks fantastic. They got things like burgers, they got steaks here, they got cowboy steaks, uh, they got arachera, 300 gram piece of meat. Fantastic. Looks like a cool spot, little outdoor patio area to eat in, dog friendly, which I love. And uh, I ordered the Mexican cheeseburger, which has cheese, uh, guacamole, has some chorizo, which is like a uh, sausage, and uh, some chili. So this was recommended by the hostess, the one you just met. And I gotta say, guys, I am so excited for this burger. Cheeseburgers are one of my favorite foods, and I pray that this one is good. And she said it's gonna be good. So let's see, ooh la la. So this drink is called Naranjada, and it's like an orange flavored soda. So it's like orange juice mixed with seltzer water. And boy, is it good. Gracias. No, gracias. Guys, look at this burger. Oh my God. That looks so good. Mm. Holy. Holy guacamole. I'm wearing a Big Mac shirt <laughs> while eating this amazing burger. Holy. Wow. It looks so juicy. My goodness. Oh my god. This is everything I could have imagined. Look at that, guys. Double fisting. Holy crap. just learned today that when you're in Mexico you can't call girls chicas calientes because it's too sexually charged so you got to call them chicas guapas. ¿Te gustan los hombres americanos? ¿Y por qué? Sí. Sí. Porque guapos. Guapos. Mm -hmm. Calientes. Divertidos. <laughs> <laughs> Better half, not yours. That's amazing. ¿Qué te dice? So, me, me, es más, creo que ya unas letras están. Oh, perfecto. I was born complete. Yes, perfecto, completo. So, mi pregunta es: ¿te gustan los hombres americanos? ¿Y por qué? Eh, sí, me gustan y creo que porque pueden ser interesantes. Porque o sea, los mexicanos los conocemos mucho y a lo mejor a los americanos, pues. Pueden ser muy diferentes a los mexicanos. Gracias. So the Starbucks out here, they sell these uh, super fancy waters and glass bottles. And it's alkaline, which you guys know I love. Super healthy. What is your favorite city um, in Mexico? My favorite city is um, Morelia. Morelia, Michoacán. Favorite. You can answer in Spanish. Uh, ¿Por qué? Porque, porque la gastronomía que tienen allá es muy, muy rica. Aparte que, que las vistas que tiene Morelia son impresionantes. La catedral que tiene, tiene el, el piano, el tercer piano más grande del mundo. Y, y su parque nacional también está muy, muy padre. El zoológico, ni se diga, chulada. Y creo que este, tiene unas vistas increíbles. Bienvenidos a Tomate. Hey guys, this is the uh, Naranjara I was telling you about, where it's orange juice with like seltzer water. So good. This is their famous Taco El Pastor, and uh, it only costs one US dollar. Beautiful. Pretty good size, too. And if you guys want to know how popular this place is, there's a huge line behind you. Check it out. Yeah, so this is one of the top ranked restaurants in Guadalajara. Guys, this is the uh, tomata especial in English, tomato special. 
although when I speak Spanish, I sound like I'm still speaking English. I'm a gringo, let's just face it. Anyway, it looks like it's got some uh, al pastor, some cheese, some avocado. This looks damn good. And whatever I can't finish, the dogs will finish, of course. And this is the uh, smaller plate here, which I believe is about uh, five US dollars, six US dollars, so it's a good price for a huge portion. Are you a happy girl? Do you want some more al pastor? You're a little beast, Raindrop. Cloud. Bienvenido a Black Coffee. Guys, this latte looks perfect. Look at that gradient. Look at that. That's beautiful. Good girls, good girls. So I'm in this park and I stumbled upon this amazing setup. I think his camera is better than mine. And it turns out they're a YouTube fiction channel that's launching soon in Spanish, right? Yeah, in Spanish. Yes. In Spanish, but I'm going to get their name and I'll put it right here so you guys could check it out. But you're seeing them before they're actually live, which is pretty cool. The main actress. Ah, Bonitas. Mm -hmm. And we got the sound guy. Yeah, I'm the sound guy. Hi. Nice to meet you guys. Nice Good luck. So I got to say, guys, like when you're at a red light here in, in Guadalajara, the people on the street that are looking for money are very creative. They'll do things like juggling acts, fire shows. This other guy, he just came by and was selling some gum. Who, who would say no to gum? Everyone always wants gum. It's genius. It's much better than in America where they just like hold up signs and they ask for money. At least here they're doing something, like they're trying. And I respect that, so I'll contribute when someone puts the effort in. Hola, bienvenido al show. Give me the, uh, the nice clay mask on my hands. Looking good. All right, guys, wrapping the hands up to lock in that moisture. Ooh la la. So I find this super helpful and interesting. If you're getting food here in Mexico and it has a lot of sugar or extra calories, the package makes it very clear. Excessive calories, excessive sugar. Super smart. And then if you get things that don't have any calories, you won't see that sign. Same for Diet Coke. However, this does come with a different label that says contains caffeine, not recommended for children. I love the clear messaging. Hola, bienvenidos al Café Benito. Guys, we are at Cafe Benito. I went on Google, searched for cafes next to me, and uh, this place looks amazing, super adorable. I love the little uh, Valentine decorations they have here. It looks like they're getting ready. And I ordered a uh, latte to get the day started at 3 p.m., because that's normal. Ooh la la. That latte is near perfect. Oh yeah, that hit right. Much like a uh, crypto coin investment hits. I don't know if you guys have been keeping up, but crypto coins have just been, woo! A lot of you guys uh, ask what I do to travel and stay free. Well, crypto's a part of that. So, uh, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research, but it's looking juicy. Supply and demand, baby, that's it. Let's go. Raindrop, you look so pretty with your haircut, girl. Okay, las quieres para casarte, para salir, para que las quieres. Las chicas más guapas de Jalisco. Sí, sí, por, por hombres americanos. Están en los altos de Jalisco, en Chapala, en aquí, en los pueblitos así de allá. El parque. Es que aquí estamos como ya medio requemaditas, entonces ya como que no estamos tan, tan bien. Mm. <laughs> Pero sí, por aquel lado, los altos de Jalisco sí son mujeres grandotas, hermosas, preciosas. This burger is absolutely massive. This chicken burger with the avocado. Right, guys, let's try their burger. That's good. This thing is massive. All right, guys, I'm sold. Coffee here is good. The vibes are here. The vibes here are good. We're in a great neighborhood. A lot of pretty girls walking by. I'm a happy camper. Hola. Hola. So you speak English? Uh, a little bit. Awesome. Where do I find the pretty girls in Guadalajara that want to date American men? Whoa. That's a good question. I does, does like the average girl here want to date American man or no? Uh, I guess 
Yes, it's uh, something new. Something new? Yeah. And, well, I guess their mentality and style of life is different than mm. Mexican men. Okay. So that's kind of attractive. <laughs> Have you ever dated an American man before? No, I haven't. Never? <laughs> Never. Is that something that you want to do? Uh, yeah, it could be something. Are you, are you single now? Yes, I am. Is that, oh, that's not an engagement ring. Okay. Oh, no, it's just a uh, pretty thing. <laughs> awesome. Well, if you could say one thing to American men, what would you say? Yeah. That date Mexican woman. <laughs> oh, I like that. Very nice. Okay, and the Instagrams for the DMs. Let's go. Agarra una cita despacito. Despacito. I just have one thing to say. Hang on here. Cheetos? Uh-huh. Let me see inside. Is it sticky? Huh? Chili. <laughs> chili, chili Cheetos. Donde esta las chicas guapas uh, por hombres americanos? Donde están las chicas guapas? Por hombres americanos. Por hombres americanos? Sí. Pues donde quiera. <laughs> el parque, el bar. Más bien en el bar. El bar. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, ¿Qué es el bar? Número uno. Pues mira, aquí se puede decir cualquiera, pero hay algunos que hacen nuevos y son los, o sea, diferente. No te puedo decir uno porque no, pues no hay alguien. O sea, no hay uno que sea especial, porque hay muchísimos que los de quiera encuentras y están muy bonitos. Gracias. De nada. So, yo soy americano. ¿Dónde están las chicas guapas por hombres americanos? Aquí. <laughs> ¿Te gustan hombres americanos? De todo. <laughs> Hola. ¿Dónde están las chicas guapas por hombres americanos? I don't know. <laughs> no sé. No sé. <laughs> What are you eating? Um, ¿Qué es? Paste. ¿Es delicioso? Rico. Delicioso. Guys, we are at Fit Gym in Guadalajara. It is one of the first gyms open here, which makes me very happy because I shrank from not lifting for like two weeks. But anyway, membership is uh, about 20 US dollars a month with a uh, $5 sign up fee, so pretty good deal. All right guys, I gotta, uh, I gotta hulk out, so I'll talk to you later. ¿Dónde están las chicas guapas por hombres americanos? Ay, definitivamente son las zapatillas. Aquí en Guadalajara. <laughs> eh, el parque, el bar, ¿dónde estás? Yo quiero un chica guapa y yo soy americano. El bar. El bar. Uy, te pueden recomendar tantos, pero con, ahorita con la contingencia no vas a hallar ningún bar abierto. Pero podría ser La Mala. La Mala. La Mala, así se llama. Puede ser La Mala Sur o... O la mala, a la mala providencia. Cualquiera de las dos. Mm, gracias. A ti. Rams. And she speaks English. I had no idea. So, w so. Why do you speak English? How'd you learn? I'm learning in a, in a school. So you study? It's close to here, yes. Have you ever dated an American man before? Yes, only three months. What happened? In California. Um, I, muchísimas cosas. A lot of things happened, but... Do you like American men? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I never, I never met a, a man, a California man or a, como les dicen, gringo. Well, I'm a New York man, New York City, Nueva York. Ah, uh, you're from? I was born in Guadalajara, oh, really? but I'm from New York City. That's cool. Because uh, I was two weeks old. Yeah, this is different. You have, you have culture in Mexican and, mm. and then American, it's different. But it's okay, it's cool to meet people. Well said, well said. <laughs> <laughs>